Uh, it begins with the medical school. It certainly won't stop there. Uh, it begins with a partnership with North Shore Spine Scheme Institute, and it won't stop there. Uh, as I just mentioned, we now have authority to issue a PhD degree in the molecular basis of medicine. We uh, will be beginning other uh, graduate programs in the sciences. There will be a public health school someday soon. There probably will be a boutique nursing program someday soon, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And our partnership with North Shore Long Island Jewish will uh, flourish in the future. And this will become, our vision is that the health system and Hostra, that very special partnership we have, will to together create a critical mass of research that will attract biotech industries and biomedical industries and bioengineering industries. By the way, we're also going to move our uh, engineering program up to, the, to create a school of engineering. And all of that will uh, come together in a wonderful synergy which will not only transform the university and the health system, but will be great for the Long Island regional economy as well. You know, it's, it's only about three years ago when Stu and I had that breakfast. And contrary to a lot of stuff that you hear about that's going on in the region where people talk an awful lot for many years about doing things and can't get anything done, we actually, in a very short period of the time, got this done. From a concept of a breakfast to today, in a three-year period of time, getting all of the approvals proves that when you have two large institutions in this region that want to do something for the right reasons and come together, and persevere and have a vision about where they both want to go in the future, you can actually accomplish great things. Some things you might not have noticed. All the faculty offices are mixed in student common space. You can't be a faculty member in this medical school if you don't want students walking in your office. There's no sequestered office space. The students, the faculty will eat together, will study together, will learn together. This building will be open 24-7. This will be, hopefully, a true learning community of faculty and students all trying to become the best doctors we can. And we hope that five years from now, when we graduate those first students, by halfway through their internship, every residency program that is lucky enough to match them will be saying, wow, these are the best prepared young doctors we've ever seen come to our hospital.